Um, well, I've been uh, working myself up for this race for some time. Obviously, uh, been out training as well this morning, and so I think I'm ready. Okay, and have you been sussing out the competition today? Uh, yeah, there's been talk of uh, fake injuries, and um, sort of uh, a lot of sparring, and uh, um, but uh, we'll see. It's uh, it's when the B of the band goes that uh, we'll we'll see who's ready. And what do you say to your critics who um, say that you've had an extra day to prepare for the race and have uh, been around the track? Uh, we've we've all had the same time to prepare. Um, we all knew what time we had to be here, but uh, you know the preparation of the uh, the other competitors. Is, as usual, left uh, wanting something, I think. Okay, well, thanks for your time. Hope to catch up with you after the race. Thank you very much. Well, I'm not feeling too good, um, but he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> I suspect I'm going to get thrashed, but I'll find some injury halfway round or something, make out that's what I'm puffed out. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll see. I mean, I know the terrain, he doesn't. So. How do you respond to the criticism that actually the, the um, in injury is just nothing more than sportsmanship? I fully accept that. Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> um, there are also concerns that delaying the start of today's race by 25 minutes was a further ploy to destabilise your opposition. How, how would you like to respond to that? I can see how it might uh, might appear like that, but um, actually it wasn't my fault. It was it was somebody else's. And did you notice how he just took half an hour to do up his well 30 seconds, but to do up his laces when I was ready? I'm fully warmed. Prime moment. Is he ready? No. OK, so mixed feelings about today's race, your prediction on the result? I'm going to get thrashed. <laughs>
We're very proud of our boys. Very proud. Well done. Well done. Oh.